Question number 23. Which of the following works in times of stress and emergencies? A. Central nervous system. B. Somatic nervous system. C. Sympathetic nervous system. D. Parasympathetic nervous system. The correct answer is C. Sympathetic nervous system. We can extend this answer by saying we have two different systems that are controlling here, which is the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. In our question, we talk about the sympathetic nervous system that mostly controlling the body uh, under the stress. Of course, it will order the pupil in order to dilate. Actually, it's prepare your body in order to, yes, in order to come up with and to overcome the threads and there is if there's a fight or fight to flight hormones and if you are looking here the pupil for example will be dilate and the heartbeat will be um, increasing the heart uh, beat and also if you are looking for the airway the airways it will be dilate so the bronchial tissues or the bronchial tubules will be dilated in order to take a lot of the uh, oxygen or the gas in order to make it changed because the body needs a lot of oxygen. Why? Because it will be used in the process of respiration to release energy needed in order to maintain your body to uh, come up with the action that needed at this time. And also the sweat gland will increase, yes, stimulates the secretion of sweat as well. And also the liver will increase the rate of the glycogen conversion into glucose. This will be done by the um, arrangement of the hormone glucagon that will stimulate the conversion of stored glycogen into glucose. Why? Because in this case, you the, the level of glucose in your body will be increased. Why to be increased? Because the glucose will be ignited by oxygen, okay, in the process of respiration to release energy that needed at this time. The digestive system will decrease its activity. Why? In order to make the blood move to the vital organs at this time and also the adrenal glands will be stimulated to produce the adrenaline hormone or fight and flight hormone that making your body alert okay and even the uterus and the vagina will be contracted urinary uh, bladder will be yes the relaxed so all of those are occurred under the sympathetic yes sympathetic regulation this is the sympathetic nervous system all of those will be opposite it in the parasympathetic. So the pupil will be, yes, constricted. The heartbeat will be slowed. Airways will be constricted. The liver, yes, stimulate the bi-release. So the, uh, the glycogen will not be converted into glucose. The blood vessel will be constricted. So the blood flow will be less. Okay, the digestive system stimulate its activity. Okay, so the blood will go to the, um, to the uh, digestive system and instead of the vital organs at this time. Uterus will be relaxed, okay, uh, unlike the other uh, sympathetic regulation. And even the urinary system will increase the urinary output, okay. So this is the full comparison between the parasympathetic and sympathetic action. So you can solve all of the next questions very easy, inshallah. Question number 24. Which of the following represents a person's state when the sympathetic nervous system starts working? A, increase in saliva, B, narrowing in the iris, C, increase in the uh, indigestion rate, D, increase in heartbeat rate. Or, correct answer is D, increase in the heart rate, as we just mentioned. Question number 25, system that works in the human body at rest. A, voluntary nervous system. B, somatic nervous system. C, sympathetic nervous system. D, parasympathetic nervous system. The correct answer is D, parasympathetic nervous system. Explanation. We mentioned that the sympathetic is while you are at action, while you are walking, okay, while you are stressed, while the parasympathetic is at rest while the body is at rest so actually the parasympathetic is taking over your body